because like I don't even know if I did like this deserves a segment but like maybe it does <laughs> I don't know um this is something that uh queen in yellow on twitter found um and this is something that a lot of people have been sending me are uh, examples of Jimmy Dore getting super chats from very questionable people so yesterday I covered a segment where the Jimmy Dore fanboys and the Brianna Joy Gray fanboys were harassing the shit out of Nina Turner, right? And then you look at the Jimmy Dore shows, like, stream that day. That day. And then you see something like this. Just got my $50 a month and Nina Turner refunded. And now I'm going to give it to the show. Thanks for keeping me sane in crazy times. Please, please stay safe and healthy through COVID. We need leaders like all of you in the future. I just, it's so, it's, this is just so fucking dumb, dude. Uh, not good. Believe me, not good. It's just so dumb. No good. No good. I've got some other examples. I'm going to bring up a notable one um, real quick. I've got it in image form, so let me go find it. Um, this is another one that I thought was very, very, very questionable. Um, and this was like, um, like maybe two or three weeks ago, someone sent me this one. And this is the, I had this, like, this one is the most questionable. So an account named Trump. Now, again, Jimmy Dore. And when I debated Nico House, remember when I debated Nico House and he was telling me that he knows the personal financial situation of every single one of his viewers. Remember that? Nico House thinks the election might have been stolen. It might have been stolen. But he also knows the personal financial information of every single person that's ever donated to him and every single person that's ever donated to the people he doesn't even really interact with that much. He knows that. Nico House knows the personal financial situation of every single person who's ever given money to Jimmy Dore. Right? So keep that in mind. But again, this is, um, I think this was on January 6th. This was around then. Um, but uh, someone gives a 300 pound, not dollar, pound if someone wants to uh convert that for me real quick in the chat hey jimmy i'm probably the first person to say this to you you wish right you wish why not do a video about the recent u.s 2020 election and how much evidence of election fraud has been brought to the surface now again nico house who by the way is still afraid to debate me he promised a second debate and then instead of showing up, he decided to run a smear campaign on me. Beta mail, right? So, again, if you're getting $360 and someone says, hey, you should talk about election fraud, guess what you're probably going to do? Talk about election fraud. And that's why Nico House says the election might have been stolen. It might have been stolen. I don't know. But, by the way, I also know the personal financial uh, situation of every single person who's ever given me, Jimmy Dore, or Fiorella Isabel money ever in the history of humanity. But the election? I don't know, man. Could be anything. And again, I wonder why you haven't done a video about it. How's Force the Vote going for you? AOC plus three still selling you out? Again, this is the kind of shit we're up against. These people will not even acknowledge. Right? These people will not even acknowledge that they are getting money. They won't even acknowledge that they have money. Let alone what kind of money they're getting, where it's coming from, how it influences them. They just, and if you even begin to utter a suggestion that these people are changing the way that they say things based on money, they will say, nope. Nope. That's what they'll say. They'll say, Hey, the election could have been stolen. By the way, I, I know the personal financial situation of every single one of my followers. Like, what? So, okay, um, you can trace back. Like, how do you know? Like, okay, so you do know the personal financial situation of one of your followers, right? Okay. Well, how do you know they're not a CIA agent who is set up to be there? Oh, I don't know. So what they're saying is they know not only the personal situation of all of their followers, but they know the entire biography of every single one of their followers to know that they're not giving them money for nefarious purposes. I have news for you, motherfuckers. When a YouTuber gets paid, especially a significant amount of money, to say a certain thing, guess what they're going to do? They're going to say a certain thing, right? 
And everyone has a different threshold of how much money is required to change their tune. I have a very high threshold. People like Jimmy Dore have a very low threshold. Nico House, I don't even think he does have a threshold. Nico House is like a fucking, like, you know, one of those make-a-wish fountains where you throw, like, a penny into the little fountain, and then you just say, like, pretty please, can I have a pony? That's Nico House. You can throw a penny at that motherfucker, and he'll do whatever you want. Because he's got no morals, he's got no principles. People like Jimmy Dore, no morals, no principles. They're a bunch of fucking sellout losers. Literally. Literally. Sellout motherfucking losers. That's what they are. So I wanted to make that very explicit. And uh, with that being said... No good, really bad for you. And uh, by the way, I would like to say a message from my sponsor. I'm just kidding. Oh my god.